This video will cover the installation of Philwright's Rotary Hand Pump Series Full Rebuild Kit. First, loosen and remove the nut from the shaft. Then remove the washer and the crank. Set these pieces off to the side. They are needed to reassemble the pump. Loosen and remove the two fasteners on the bearing plate. Next, loosen the eight fasteners from the pump cover. Then you can remove the cover. To remove the shaft seals, pull the shaft through the rotor cover, then remove the two pieces. Then you can replace these two seals. Set these in the indentation in the shaft opening. Place the black seal first, followed by the white one. Then slide the shaft back through the pump cover. If the seals dislodge, push them back into place to ensure a proper seal. Place the bearing plate back over the shaft and secure it with the two fasteners. Ensure you're wearing safety glasses while working on the pump body. Then continue disassembling the pump housing. Carefully remove the three vein assemblies. These each contain a vein, a spring, and a pin. Then remove the cover gasket. Then install the replacement parts. First, place the gasket in the indentation and ensure it is properly seated. Then replace the vein assemblies. First, insert one of the pins into one of the springs. Then, insert the other end of the spring into the opening in the vein. Compress the pin and spring towards the vein. While compressed, insert the pieces into the rotor opening with the pin facing the center of the rotor. Repeat this step with the three vein assemblies. Apply pressure to the opposite side of the rotor to allow the veins to slide into place. Then align the pump cover and shaft with the center of the rotor. Ensure the pump cover is aligned correctly and maneuver the pieces as needed until the shaft drops into place. Then align and secure the eight fasteners. Use a nut driver or wrench to secure. Finally, align the crank on the shaft and secure it with the washer and fastener. Use a torque wrench to secure. To access the inlet screen and gasket, you will need to remove the pump from the bung adapter. Using a wrench, loosen and remove the four fasteners. Set the pump aside. Remove the old gasket and screen from the bung adapter. Wipe away any debris remaining. To install the replacement kit, first place the screen in the indentation and ensure it is properly seated. Failure to properly seat the screen can result in fluid leakage. Next, place the gasket on the bung adapter. Then mount the pump on the bung adapter and secure it with the four provided fasteners. We recommend installing the fasteners in diagonal order to ensure proper seating of the seal and the pump to the bung adapter. Thank you for watching this Fill Right Kit installation video.